Hello again and welcome back to the shack. I'm Rick. Today we're going to do a, just a quick little maintenance on a shower valve. A lot of the customers I deal with, they're mostly the elderly and when the valves start wearing it's not as easy to turn anymore. It makes it hard for them. They don't have the strength and they just can't turn it. So a lot of times just changing out the valve, uh, getting a new one in so it's very easy and smooth for them. It makes life easier for them and that's, I mean, they, they've done enough of their life, they need to relax and be, be pampered a little bit when they get older. So, this is a mix-up valve. A little note real quick. I've had customers call me after they have gone, bought the valve, replaced it, and it was like impossible to turn, it won't fit. Well, when I pulled the valve out, which was very difficult because they shoved it in there, they had the wrong valve. And I'm going to show you why. But first, let's go through. I'm going to take this off, pull the valve out. And I'm going to show you the difference between the right and the wrong valve. Now, the valve itself is pretty easy to get off. You basically going to take your handle and your temperature control valve off. With basically, I have a power tool, but you can use just a regular Phillips screwdriver and just take it off. You have this screw here, you unloosen it, and I've seen some guys do this, they yank it right off. There's a little tab back here, don't just yank it off, loosen it up, give it, push it off there a little bit, it'll come up and then you can pull it out. Just don't yank it off, because in the back here, it's got a little nipple on it right there, that goes into a little hole on top of the valve here. I've seen guys unloose this, just yank it off and they'll bust it off. It doesn't matter if you're going to replace this. I just don't do that. I mean, you may have to reuse this again. This little plate here, discuss it. There's another Phillips screwdriver right underneath this. Phillips screw. Undo that. There it goes. Pops right off. Now, what the heck did this guy do? Talk about Mickey Mouse. And... Oh, well. That's why people call me. We'll take care of this and do it right. I'll make you mouse stuff. Now, you may need a pipe wrench or you can just use an adjustable. Depends on how bad this is. We'll see if this comes off. This is just a little, there it goes, not too bad. This just screws off. This is what, this is what was holding this valve in here. Oh, and I have turned the water off to the house prior to doing this. If you don't, this is gonna shoot out and you're gonna have a flood. On there. Oh, the calcium. Ugh. Come on, get off there, baby. There it goes. A pair of pliers, or I usually use vice grips. Just grab this, and it should pull right out. Let me move my tools so they don't get all wet. There's a little bit of water left over in there. I turned on the house water, different uh, sink faucet stuff, to make sure the pressure's out before you do this. This turn, whoops. Right, just turn it a little bit, loosen up, pull it out. <clears throat> there you go. Whoa! See? <laughs> it's still a little pressure. And that's it. That's how you pull this valve out. This is the new mix it valve. This is the MXT07. Now there's another one that looks very similar to this, which is the 110, I believe. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I've had customers buy the wrong one that looks exactly like this. Except for one thing. Now I want you to see something here. You see this definition here. This little cutout. This is what, when you turn it, determines the flow of your hot and cold. Now there's other ones out there that it looks the I believe it's the 110 that that definition is very very slight this is just very minute this little cutout right here looks exactly like this valve it doesn't have the dot on it and it looks is this is all exactly the same except I wish I had one I wish I could show you but this is not as defined on the other one and when you put it in it won't work it's very hard getting in it's just a pain it has to be just like your old one. So see that definition right there? 
on both of them, it matches. This is the correct one. The other one will have a very slight cut out here, very, very sl slim. It will not fit. Be aware of that, first and foremost. Make sure you get the one that is defined here, just like the original. It still runs in and out, but it's tight. This one, you can just zoom, 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 zoom. Easy. Very, very nice. Now when you put it together, this little red dot goes on the bottom. You shove it in just like that. When it's in there, you put this spacer, brass, plastic brass, on the here. Okay, it's in, it's in that way. Then you pull this over it, tighten it up, and you're done. And I keep this so, so you guys can see. This is what you can buy. It's a little thing because if you don't do it all the time, you maybe use it a couple times. You don't want to go to the expense of buying the big one if you're only going to use it once or twice a year. Um, so I keep this so you guys can see exactly what you can get. This is a couple dollars for this. This is plumber's grease. I will put it all over the O-ring on this and I will put it in, in the pipe a little bit towards the end where the O-ring is going to slide in and out. But I'm going to take a rag, get in there and kind of clean it up and make sure it looks clean. And see I got a little bit in there I can feel. So we're going to get a rag and clean that out real quick. Now, not everybody will have like a wire bus shoving or anything, but if you have just a Phillips screwdriver or something, or in my case, uh, I just use this because it's nice and round. I'm just going to take some paper towel, shove it in there, spin it around. Now, I just spin that around so it can pick up anything that's in there. And just pull it out. See a little bit there. Just take your time, don't get in a rush. There you go, a little bit more. Just make sure it's nice and clean in there. Oh, that feels good. Now, plumber grease, take a little bit of that. I'm just gonna get in the back here and go around, kind of coat it just so when that O-ring gets shoved in there, it's got something to slide in on and it's not gonna be rubbing on metal to metal and it'll last a little longer and get a little bit better seal. Not that everybody does it, but it ain't gonna hurt to throw a little bit on here. Just help this so it doesn't get seized on by accident with anything else, it should come off in the future easier. And, of course, I mean, I'm, I'm not shy, put a nice good coating all around this O-ring on here. It ain't going to hurt. Now remember, the red dot goes on the bottom, so we're going to turn it underneath. And you're just going to slide it in there. Just going to slide it in there. See? Now, if you didn't have the correct one, it won't go in that easy. Make sure you get the correct one. Brass, plastic, brass is the combination. Put this back on the brass ring, the plastic ring, and then the brass ring. Slide it on. This is your cover again. Holds that in there. There you go. And tighten it on. Now, I'll go hand tighten. Because this you want to make sure that's easy to turn and I may just do a quarter snug it up and come back a little bit just make sure it's seated in good it's tight just a little bit there you go now at this point I will go turn the water back on maybe a quarter to half turn just get some pressure in open up the valve make sure water comes out of the shower and then shut it off and save it for a few minutes, make sure nothing leaks. So I'm going to go outside and I'm going to turn the water pressure on a little bit. Got this on just to make sure, turn the water on. Oh, that's smooth. Nice and easy. There goes the water, it's on. I clean this up. But. Oh, yeah. Much nicer. That is so smooth. Okay. Push that in. Lift it. 
get it off there. Put that on, shut it off. Nice, very nice and smooth. And that's it. I'm gonna clean all this up, clean everything else on there. I'm gonna put the gusset back on here with some caulking around it. You see, I got this all cleaned up. So what I'm gonna do, this is the plate that goes on. Instead of all the junk behind it, I'm gonna put a bead of some caulking around here. So what I'm gonna do, slide this on there, level it up, put it right there. Make sure it's set on there where it looks even. Push it back a little bit and then tighten this up. There. Now with just a little bit of water, I just take my finger Go around this edge, wipe it off, make sure it's filled in all the little gaps. I've learned over the years, you dab your finger in the water and it helps. See, now I can just wipe off this excess and it leaves me a nice clean line right there. That looks good now. Just got a nice little crisp white line that's sealed. Don't have to worry about all the junk in there. The water won't be getting in behind there. It's just what you need. Guys, okay, just got to learn to do this stuff right, man. And then just go on the outside of this, real gentle. And there we go. A nice, crisp, clean, sealed line right there. That looks nice. Now that is done right. We can put this on here now. Our hot cold temp adjustment. There it goes. Don't over tighten it. Let's say I take my time on this, I do it right. If you're not sure, then use just your hand screwdriver or hand filled screwdriver. Go this on here. There it is. It's all done. Now the customer has no problem. It turns easy on and off, hot, cold, everything's functional. No leaks. It's good. So they're ready to get back in. Have a much more pleasant experience without having to maybe use two hands on to try to turn that. If you have the mix it and it's got that definition, if you pull the old one out and you see that, make sure you get the correct one, WTX07. So that's it, simple, easy, seriously, adjustable wrench, pair of pliers, or in my case, I had these, uh, Phillips screwdriver, and you can do this yourself. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. I have wood projects, other home improvement projects coming up. A bunch of different things. It's going to be a busy year 2016. Be blessed. Get out there. Take back your shack. Follow me as I take mine back. See you in the next video.